the wheel be spinning, Polly? Do you think the video has started yet? What? Door to tell. Oh, there it is. What? There it is. Arr, you be right, Polly. The video started at last. Now, ahoy there, mateys. What? What is it, Polly? What? Polly want a shanty. Polly want a shanty. A shanty, you say? Arr. Well, we are pirates, after all, aren't we? Why don't we give him a shanty, Polly? What? Polly want a shanty. Polly want a shanty. All right. Oh, come all ye young readers and listen to me. Yo ho, can't put the book down. What? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. And we'll read ye a tale of some kids on the sea. If you give us the time, we won't put the book down. Right. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, when you read a good yarn, is the best thing of all. Yo ho, can't put the book down. Right. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. They're the best things you'll find at libraries and malls. Oh, if you give us the time, we won't put the book down. What? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So now's the time. <clears throat> oh, my. We lost the tune. What? Sorry. That was my fault, Polly. What? It's okay. What? <laughs> Polly want a story. Polly want a story. <laughs> Yeah, we lost the tune. No sense finishing the shanty now, is there, Polly? What? Nope. No sense. What? <laughs> Polly want a story. Polly want a story. <laughs> All right, then. Let's give him a story, Polly. <laughs> For today, we be continuing with Pirate School, The Curse of Snake Island. Now, you may remember that when we last left off, Pete and the Pirate School gang were all bored Snake Island. And they were taking a shortcut through the jungle to try to reach the treasure of Snake Island before the rest of the crew. But will they succeed? Or now that we don't know yet, we'll have to find out today. Chapter 8. X marks the spot. Arr, I told you that curse was silly, Aaron said as we made our way deeper into the cave. So far, we hadn't seen any giant snakes. We did see little snakes. Okay, we saw lots of little snakes. But we saw exactly zero giant ones. And I had let Inna hold on to the back of my shirt and guide her. as She absolutely positively refused to open her eyes. We must be getting close, I said. The X on the map was only 200 paces from the start of the cave. That meant it would be double for us since our paces were kid paces. I tried to keep count, but pirates aren't too good at counting. Most pirates can only count to 10. Still, I knew we had to be close. I walked faster. There was no sign of the giant snake, so there was no reason to go slowly and carefully. Come on, mateys! Let's make sure we beat Rotten Tooth there so we can see the look on his face! I hurried as fast as I could within a tugging my shirt behind me. There was a turn ahead. I had a good feeling about it. I dashed around the corner. There it is! I couldn't even believe my eyes! I gulped. In front of me was the biggest, tallest, most giant pile of treasure I'd ever seen in my whole life! Blimey, I shouted. I was so happy I danced around. I didn't even care that pirates aren't supposed to dance. Aaron ran at the mountain of gold coins and dove in like he was just diving into the ocean. Vicky tossed coins around like she was splashing in waves. Inna still had her eyes covered. Look, Inna, we found the treasure. There's even jewelry, I told her. Inna loved jewelry. Are you sure it's safe to look? She asked. Sure, I'm sure, I told her. Then Inna took her hands away from her face and opened her eyes. Her eyes got real wide and her mouth fell open. I couldn't blame her. It sure was quite a treasure.
But then it was my turn to bring my hands up to cover something. Only I was covering my ears because Inna started screaming at the top of her lungs. And she pointed. I turned around. In front of me was the biggest, tallest, most giant snake I'd ever seen in my whole life. Chapter 9. I, eye to eye. I poked my head out from behind the rock. I saw the snake slither our way. It looked mean. It looked even meaner than rotten tooth covered in stinky fish guts. Just then, it turned its head toward me. I quickly ducked down. I was close, I said. I almost looked it in the eye. What are we going to do? Gary asked. There were snakes everywhere. And not just the big one, but little ones, too. There must be a gazillion of them, Vicky said. I tried to count them. One, two, three. Uh, then I lost count. I, a gazillion seems right, I said. We were trapped. There was no escape. Anna, what did the riddle say about breaking the curse? I asked. Anna spread her fingers apart just the tiniest bit. It was enough that she could read the riddle. To break the snake's curse, use the curse in reverse. As she read, I caught a glimpse of her necklace. It gave me an idea. Anna, can I borrow your necklace? I asked. Anna shook her head. No way! But I need it to defeat the snake! I pleaded. Are you going to hypnotize it? Gary asked. Not quite, I said. Then I asked Anna for her necklace again. Pretty please with sardines on top, I begged. Promise nothing gross will happen to it. I triple promise, I told her. Finally, she handed me the necklace. I held it out in front of me and slipped out from behind the rock. I kept my eyes tightly shut. I could feel the snake slithering right up next to me. In a shiny necklace dangled between us. Then the giant snake leaned in closer. I held my breath. <gasps> Suddenly the hissing stopped. Everything was quiet. Then, poof, I took a peek. The snake was gone. There was an old lady standing there instead. Wow, Aaron said, peeking out from behind the rock. They all came out from hiding. None of us could believe our eyes. And then, the smaller snake started to wiggle. In a screamed, and then there were even more poofs. Each of the little snakes poofed into smoke, and when the smoke cleared... The pirate crew of the Sea Rat was standing in front of us. Did my necklace do all that? Inna asked. I, I said, a little surprised myself. I had broken the curse. Then we saw that there were other pirates too. Rival pirates. Who are they? Vicky asked. They must have come looking for the treasure before us and were turned into snakes, I said. The pirates looked at the crew of the Sea Rat. We outnumbered them. I counted. There were exactly a lot of us, and exactly only a little of them. Let's get out of here, they shouted, and we must have, they must have counted the same numbers as me. Captain Stinkybeard rubbed his eyes. Arr, how'd you break the curse? He asked me. Just like the clue said, I reversed it, I said. I saw my reflection in Inna's necklace and figured out the riddle. I just had to make the snake look into its own eyes, I explained. Clever lad, Captain Stinky Beers said. I thank ye. It's not fitting for a captain to be a snake. He was so glad he didn't even ask how he we knew to look for blah, how we knew to look for them. The old lady was next the one that, blah, excuse me. The old lady was the next one to thank me. I, I said, but who are you? She told us she'd been cursed a long time ago. I was a pirate like you. I tried stealing this treasure from my captain, but he caught me. I nudged Aaron in the side. I told you that was against the rules, I whispered. 
I, the lady said, and as punishment, my captain put a powerful curse on me. He turned me into a snake to make sure no one else tried to steal the treasure. I've had to guard that treasure ever since. What happened to him? Vicky asked. The lady smiled. He was the first person I turned into a snake, she told us. I haven't seen him since. So, whose treasure is it now? Anna asked. Yours, she said. I never want to see it again. Take as much as you want. The whole crew cheered and started filling their pockets. I felt pretty proud and happy, too. That was until I felt Rotten Tooth's hand on my shoulder. Arr, he growled. Who gave you mangy mutt's permission to leave the beach? You'll be on kitchen duty for a month. We froze in our tracks. I couldn't believe it. My plan had failed again. But then Captain Stinkybeard came over. He ordered Rotten Tooth to back off. This little matey and his friends just saved our lives, he said. Not to mention won us this here treasure. Rotten Tooth was the only one who didn't look happy about that. I won't be having me best pirates washing dishes, Captain Stinkybeard said. See to it that they learn everything they want to know. Maybe they might even teach you a thing or two, he said. Hooray, we shouted. We jumped up and down, and then the captain winked at us to let us know that it was okay to dance around. We danced the whole way back to the sea rat. And on the way, we made a list of all the things that we wanted Rotten Tooth to teach us. After he took a bath, of course. Arr! That brings us to the end of our swashbuckling tale, me hearties. But before we go, when we finished the tale of saving the Sun Dragon, I rather liked how at the end of that story, they had some questions for the kids to help them reflect on the story. And so, I've made up some questions about the curse of Snake Island. So I'm going to be asking them, and I'd be mighty interested to hear your responses in the comments. Question one. What do you think happened to the captain who cursed the old lady to be a snake? Because he was turned into a snake we know by the old lady who was made a snake on Snake Island. But we never learned what happened to him, so what do you think it was? Question two. How are the students at pirate school similar to each other? And how are they different? Question three. Who is Clegg? There was a character named Clegg in the story, but who was he? Question four. What would ye do with the treasure of Snake Island if ye found it? And question five. If ye had your own pirate ship, what would you call it? Of course, ye all know the name of me. Dread Man of War, the SS Biblioteca. No. We'll be returning to you tomorrow at 2 p.m., we will, for some more story goodness. Arr. But as for today, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And, of course, be sure... Oh, hey, we have some responses in the comments. Excellent. Oh, he escaped to the jungle. Oh, he may have escaped out into the jungle, mighty. Arr, indeed. Oh, you'd hide it again. Oh, arr, arr. Now, Mei Chen says, if she found the treasure of Snake Island, she'd go ahead and hide it again. Oh, that's a very piratey thing to do. Good for you! Har, 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 har. Oh, that's very exciting that we're getting some answers to the questions out there. Oh, you're welcome, Mei! Har, 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 har. And thank ye for tuning in. Now, be sure to tune in for our other live programs as well. Toddler Time with Miss Becky, Stories with Sunny and Creatin' with Constance. And don't forget, the libraries are once again open to the public ye lovers, but you can still get curbside service if you desire. And you can always go on to sweetwaterlibraries.com to be accessing some scurvy digital content as well. Well, it's all for today. I'll be saying enough, but I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Be there, or be a rumbus, ye scurvy dogs! Arr, 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 arr. 
Brute.